Okay guys, today we're going to try to make an emergency water filter from the ingredients you can see here. An old plastic bottle, uh, a little piece of cloth that you're going to put on the top here with a rubber band to hold it on. You need some stones, some sand, and some charcoal which we're going to be grinding up. I'm going to use this uh, colander to actually sift this sand here to get a finer sand. And we're going to mash it all up together and create an emergency filter. First step, cut it. Next step, we're going to put the cloth on here. Make sure it stays on tight. Okay. Next step, you want to smash up this charcoal and get it as fine as you can. The finer you can get it, the better. This is going to take a minute, so you should probably get this in fast forward. You guys, I'm back up. You're only breathing this. Back up, you guys. Take it back up. Okay, so I've finished smashing this up. I'm just taking this, the bigger pieces from here and putting it into here because I'm going to layer the charcoal. I'll have the really fine stuff on the bottom and the slightly bigger pieces on the top of that, followed by the sand and the stones. We're going to take the fine stuff and we're going to dump it in. Good job. Let that settle. It's a bit dusty. <laughs> then we're going to add the, the bigger pieces. Now we're going to add this sand, but first we've got to sift it. Huh? So, we're going to take this sand, because there's a bit of rock in there, and we're going to sift it through this, into here. A little bit at a time, just to get the finest sand that we can. So we can take these slightly bigger rocks and put them on here. Over there, and see what we got here. Some really fine sand. That yeah. does look really nice. Ooh. Okay, next step add this good stuff. So this is Can I nice. feel a bit of that sand? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that feels really nice. <laughs> All right, I'm putting it in. Ready? Uh -huh. Right in the middle. There we go. Just gonna Mix it. Spread that so it's nice and flat. Okay. Alright. Now we've got our last one to do. These are the bigger rocks. I'm going to put these on top. Okay, you got your rocks, nice thick layer of sand, nice thick layer of charcoal down there, and I got a cloth here, so we're going to run some water through it and see how it goes. So we've got this dirty rainwater that's come off the roof of the guttering system, so that's dirty and needs to be filtered. At first, it might not come out perfectly clear as this thing, uh, as the filter needs to settle. You might be lucky on the first time, but the first go will probably be a bit dirty. The second flush is going to be a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pour some in here. It's going to go through slow, so you're going to have to wait a little bit. And now we just wait. And slowly but surely, it's going to drip out of here and go into that jar. So we're going to come back in a couple minutes okay. and see what we got. So it's been going for about an hour. This is what we got here. Looks pretty good. But we're still going to need to sterilize this. So you do want to put this into a kettle or a pot and then further boil this before drinking. There are a couple pieces of coal I can see in there just from the, the filter as it started. But that looks pretty clear. It's a good result coming from that. Can't really see, but that's pretty yellow. And then we got this. 
So boil it down and it's ready to go. Safe water. It does take a while though. It does take a couple hours. It's going to come, come out drip by drip. But it will be nice and clean. You can see all the crap that's being left on the top. And as that goes down, you'll be able to see a lot of crap on top of that on top of the rocks. But as you wake up, probably do this at night. And as you wake up, you'll ha you'll wake up to a bunch of fresh water, like so.